What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Circuit of Americas episode where we're on race number 19. So we've got four more races left this season. Pretty much secured P4. So uh, I, I think now is trying to get podiums with the drivers. Or just really solid point scoring posi uh, positions to end the season. All right, if we have a look at the current project. So we've got the front wing research, which will come in in about four days. Um, so once that comes in, we can start a new project um to research another car car park for next season we do have another one coming in in 26 days it is very important that we research for next year's car i think we've started it a bit too late actually and um if we would have started a bit earlier we'd have probably still finished fourth in the championship and, and had a better car starting for next season so it'll be interesting to see where we are because if we did start too late we might be going backwards and we might be at the back of the grid again but maybe we did it at the right time and we'll be towards the front um pushing mercedes pushing red bull pushing ferrari but i guess that's something that we'll find out at the start of next season so mick schumacher does have to improve i think kevin magnuson's gonna have to improve as well i think a lot of people got held up i think daniel ricardo is actually getting held up by nicholas atifi right now but he does improve so mick schumacher needs to uh, find some time to make it into q2 kevin magnuson might actually be all right they're complaining about overheating of the tires and they're not even halfway done with the lap so be interested to see what everybody does as they cross the line. The two McLarens can't get past Kevin Magnussen. Neither can Yuki Tsunoda. So Kevin Magnussen should be safe into Q2 regardless. It's Mick Schumacher who needs to get into the Q2. If he doesn't, he'll probably be starting from the back of the grid with that five-place grid penalty. So Guan Yu Zhou about to cross the line. Mick Schumacher needs to find a second. What can he find? He can't get out of Q1. He cannot make it out of Q1. He's starting P16. Lost the grid penalty. I think that's dead last. For Mick Schumacher. Let's have a look. Yep, he's going to be dead last unless Sonoda and Joe have um, 10 place grid penalties. But what a disappointing day that is for Mick Schumacher. Now we've got Kevin Magnussen. He's not taking a grid penalty. So um, with him, hopefully we can start further up the grid order. I mean, that's a solid, solid lap from Kevin Magnussen. I kind of want to send him out on the same set of softs again. Just so we save a set for the race. Um, and if he can improve on a use set, that'll be uh, beautiful indeed. But he's up to P6. I think that's good enough to make it into Q3 without even having to improve. So we sent him out on the same set of soft tyres. So we have two new ones for Q3. Let's see what sort of lap he can put in. Uh, Kevin Magnussen comes around. He doesn't improve. He stays where he is. So does Yuki Tsunoda. I think we're going to be all right here. P9, P10, P11. Okay. We should have went out on a new set. So it's only P11... For Kevin Magnussen, I mean, we do have a brand new pair of softs for the race, but we could have probably made it into Q3 there. So a little bit frustrating. Lost out to both Alpines. Um, P11 for Kevin Magnussen, P16, which will probably be P18 if they're taking 10 place grid penalties. Um, for Mick Schumacher, so just to see the how the race goes. This is very rare that we don't make Q3 anymore. So um, a little bit frustrating. Let's see what sort of strategies we can go. So the softs, they will die off very quick. So maybe they're not even in the strategy option. Um, maybe for Schumacher, we, we go softs, mediums, hards and get him pitted early. I think that might be the way to go. We'll go softs, mediums, hards of Schumacher. We'll go a little bit different for Kevin Magnussen. And we'll run the... Um, oh... We, do we do it on the same? No, we'll have to do something different. We'll do mediums, mediums, hards, Kevin Magnussen. And um, we'll get Schumacher in the pits early to see if that will help him out. We'll get him going really aggressive off the line. See if he can make up any positions. And um, yeah, Kevin Magnussen trying to get his elbows out off the line as well. Keep it clean through the first it's few sunny. corners. I didn't actually see where we were starting on the grid. Here I should have had a look. But, um, but Kevin Magnussen looks like he's moved up a couple of positions. Uh, and Mick Schumacher is not right at the back. So go. Schumacher in P16. Magnussen in P8. It's going to be interesting to see what sort of start we can get. I think Schumacher can get a good start here. He's next to the both Ferraris. He's all the way down there. They've taken big grid penalties. Same with Valtteri Bottas. Um, but what can Schumacher do as he's side by side with the Ferrari? Just don't get in an incident, mate. Kevin Magnussen has held on to his position, so he's he's had a good start. We will take that from UK Mag. But um, Nick Schumacher hasn't been able to make up any places just yet. And uh, the strategy that he's on 
is to make up places as soon as possible. And he's fighting a Ferrari. We need him to get past that Alfa Romeo. Then he can work his way up past the Williams and the Aston Martins as he dives down the inside of the Alfa. Come on. Get the move done, Mick. There we go. Down the straight. Beautiful stuff. Mick Schumacher moving up a place. And now he's got to pick, up, pick off the Williams and Aston Martins up ahead. Mick Schumacher, he's actually going mental. Um, trying to get the overtakes done early doors. He's got past the Aston Martin. He's got past the Alfa Romeo. He's got past Nicholas Atifi. And now he's got another Williams in front to go for the overtake. I'll tell you what. I reckon he's going to get it done down this long straight uh, as we come into the turn. Now we're going to give him a bit of ERS just to get the overtake done. Oh, he's actually got a bit of threat from behind on the Aston Martin. But he's closing in on the Williams. Is he going to go for a double overtake? Oh, my goodness me. He almost got into a crash. But... Uh, I think it's only a matter of time before he gets the move done on the two cars up ahead as they are falling behind the train. You can see the Williams of Alex Albon all over the back of Sebastian Vettel. I'm sure we'll be able to get the move done very soon. We've got him on full attack. We're basically telling him to go for it. He's got DRS. He's got the ERS deployed. He's going for a double overtake on both cars as something has happened. Um, yellow flag. Not sure if it's a safety car. I think we're all right. Yeah, we're all right. I don't know why it was showing the replay. But go on, Mick. He's got past the Aston Martin now. Uh, and Mick Schumacher is really going for it on these soft tyres. He needed to make the moves done early doors. Otherwise, his strategy was pretty much out the window. And, and he's done exactly that. So Mick Schumacher up into P11. And now he can start getting on with his race. Yeah, Ricardo, who re-overtook him. Uh, and maybe Lando Norris as well. And he actually does get past Lando Norris. Now he's got to try and get past Daniel Ricciardo. Out of ERS. I think we need to make a pit stop soon. As he moves up into P9. You've got Leclerc moving up into P8. Good he is time. now right behind Kevin Magnussen. But Mick Schumacher doing a solid, solid job. Um, right now. I think we pit him this lap, to be honest. Got these cars all over the back of him. He hasn't got much ERS. So we're going to pit him this lap. Onto the medium tyres. It's a little bit early. But... Um, we've pushed him a lot on these softs to get him up the position. So in comes Mick Schumacher. Out he comes. Get out ahead of Latifi. There we go. He does. He gets out ahead of Latifi. We've got loads of clear air. We're telling him, just do what you need to do. Relax and um, run your own race. So there's Mick Schumacher. Got him on the undercut strategy. No cars in his way. And he's got nice clear air to really go for it now. Oh, don't tell me there's a safety car right after he's pit. Is there? There's multiple cars crashed. No signs of safety car. I think we're okay. I think we're alright. Um, someone's got a penalty. It's Yuki Sonoda. No VSC, no safety car. So Sonoda has got DRS on the Aston Martin up ahead. Is he just going to hit him in the back? Oh, he locks up and goes right into the side of him. So that's why there was the yellow flag. Um, Big Schumacher is still in his own little world. Now people are coming into the pits that were up ahead. So we've gone for the undercut strategy. Uh, he's not going to come out near them, I don't think. Uh, but Big Schumacher is running a good race. We could have a potential double points finish here for Haas. As uh, now he's going to come out ahead of Bottas. Yep, ahead of Bottas, behind Pierre Gasly. So in a good position for points later on in this Grand Prix. And Magnussen's just going to keep doing what he's doing in this race to, to stay with the cars in front. All right. We're going to pit Kevin Magnussen now. His tyres are really going off. So we're going to pit him onto another set of medium tyres. This lap. Be interested to see where he comes out. So Magnussen comes into the pits. Can he get out ahead of this train? There's a safety car right as he's exiting the pits. So I'll tell you what. That's not awful. Safety car. Safety um, car. Mick Schumacher coming round now. He won't be able to make it in the pits. So he comes out into P8. I think he was going to come out into P8 anyway. But Kevin Magnussen gets his pit stop done. We can conserve. Like but Sonoda, who's replay. crashed out, he's been in the now wards this. this race. He's all by himself. Does he just lock up and go straight into a wall? That seems to be what happens in this game. He locks up, goes straight into the wall. Safety car comes out. Safety tires a little bit. I can't do anything to Kevin Magnussen. If you can see right here, it just says time in the pits. And it hasn't changed. And he's losing ERS because he was on deploy mode. And I can't change it. So that's Kevin Magnussen's race pretty much screwed over. And now I've got to focus on Mick Schumacher. So Magnussen has been absolutely shafted. He's in a good position, P8, but I can't do anything about it. So Mick Schumacher is going to be our main guy. Uh, Magnussen is screwed over. Um, we just got to continue the race, but that's pretty frustrating. Mick Schumacher up into P11. Magnussen dropping away. 
because he has no ERS and I can't change anything. So that's, that's very frustrating, but Schumacher's got through uh, and he can get going with his pace. I won't be able to pick Kevin Magnussen either. I, I won't be able to pit him. So Magnussen, he's just going to have to stay out there unless I watch the replay and maybe it'll fix itself. So watch the replay, skip it. Come on, fix itself, please. Yes, all right, there we go. So it's fixed itself. Now we can get Kevin Magnussen going again. Um, but he's lost so many positions. He's down a P16 with the Aston Martins and the Williams drivers because he had no ERS and he was on conserve the whole time. So Magnussen's race has pretty much been screwed because I couldn't do anything. So that sucks for K-Mag. Push on the fuel. This should be a very, very simple overtake on the Williams driver as it is. So moving up is Mick Schumacher. Uh, on the hard tyres. Multiple cars crashed again. Is that a new race position for it is a safety car. Oh my goodness me. So, uh, <laughs> I mean, K-Mag has safety been saved. Car, safety car. Uh, Mick Schumacher just got ahead of... We're going to put him onto our hard tyres because he, he needs to go on a different tyre. Um, Schumacher just got ahead of Alex Albon before that came out. And uh, we can conserve with him and harvest with him. And now... K-Mag gets a bit of redemption. So that, that second safety car has saved him. Where is he right now? He is right here. So he's going to come into the pits, going to get a free stop, like a and um, his crash. race is back alive. So Kevin Magnussen's race is back alive. It was Let's a crash involving multiple then. cars. Okay. It was so there we have the Williams the and the Aston Martin right behind Schumacher. So Schumacher gets the move done. Oh, no, it's the Alpine. Alpine and the Aston Martin. Oh, my goodness me. It's a three-way crash. And that Aston Martin's gone flying into the wall. So, absolute carnage happening behind us. Kevin Magnussen says, thank you very much. You've uh, got my race going again. It'll be interesting to see where he comes out. As he comes out of the pits. Oh, he can't get ahead of the Alfa Romeo. But he comes in in P14. Mick Schumacher in P10. Safety car is in. All right, let's go. Um, Magnussen should be good for tyre for the end of the Grand Prix. And I'll tell you what, um, Schumacher should be pretty good as well, thanks for that safety car. So, Magnussen down in P14, but there's a bunch of lapped cars in the way. We saw this happen in Singapore. The lap cars really do get annoying. So, Schumacher in P10, can he get past the Alfa Romeo or the Alpine? Um, he's going to be all over the back of them, but can Magnussen make up a few places as well? He's got the Alfa Romeo of Guan Yu Zhou in front. And it'll be interesting to see if he can get him down the main straight. So come on, K-Mag. Let's see what you got. Always oh, thinks about a move down there, but he doesn't quite get it done. I think we've got the Williams of Latifi. Oh, no, it's Alex Albon up in a P11. Uh, I thought it was Williams. Uh, it was Latifi who was getting lapped. But K-Mag, he goes for the move down the inside of the Alfa Romeo. Now down the inside of the McLaren. They're going three wide. What a move that is. Go on, make it on the Williams as well. Oh, my goodness me. This is all going crazy. But Kevin Magnussen is on a roll. He's up in a P12. He's going to get past this Williams driver very, very soon as well. Who comes into the pits after the safety car for some reason. Magnussen finds himself back into the points. Mick Schumacher in P9. Let's go. We can get a good point scoring position here. Come on. But Magnussen is going to look for a move on Bottas or Russell up ahead. Bottas goes for a move on Russell. you got the Alpine of Ocon. Really uh, holding things up. And Magnussen is going to be looking to make a move. He is all over the back of these three cars. Just buying his time. Trying to find the gap. And once he can find it, he's going to really, really go for it. As a Mercedes or George Russell drops down into P8. You've got Ocon basically holding everybody up. Uh, and Magnussen is trying to join the battle. As he goes for a move. Oh, he, he thought about it on the Mercedes. You've got Alfa Romeo going for a move on the Alpine. Now Magnussen gets past the Mercedes and he's on the back of the Alpine. Is he going to go for the move of the Alpine through the S's? No way he's going to make this stick. Oh my goodness me. Magnussen is on an absolute roll and he's got the Alfa Romeo of Valtteri Bottas next in line. Come on, K-Mag. Push a little bit. See if you can get him. Can he get him down this straight? Can he go from P9 all the way to P6 in one lap? You bet he can. Kevin Magnussen up into P6. He's on an absolute charge. Come on, K-Mag. Oh, my goodness. Oh, he's, he's actually smashed his car. What's he done? Mick Schumacher, he's locked up. Oh, he's, oh, he's smashed into the Alfa Romeo of Bottas. He's taken both cars out. That's got to be another safety car, surely. Mick Schumacher. Oh, my God, it is. It is as well. Hold on a second. Do we go for a last gasp 
switch onto the soft tyres. I don't think it's worth it. How many places will we lose? One, two, three. Oh, mate. We're going to lose a l No point. We'd lose too many places. So, we'll keep him on the hards. I think the cars up ahead are more used. Yeah. Um, but we've got to pit Schumacher because he's just absolutely demolished his front wing. Somehow he's kept the car going. Put him onto a new set of softs. Um, put a new front wing on. Put himself... Uh, he got in a big crash, but he's not out of points guys. contention just yet. Yeah. So it's going to be interesting to see what happens when the safety car comes in. And it is coming in right about now. We're going to ride on board with Schumacher, actually, because I'm curious to see what sort of pace he has on these soft tyres. As um, he's going to go for a move before the safety car line on the Alpine. But now we're underway. Kevin Magnussen all over the back of Perez up ahead. And Schumacher dives down the inside. There's been something. There's been an incident Please tell me it's not with Kevin Magnussen. I don't think it is. As Magnussen's up in a P5. And now Mick Schumacher's going for a move on Ricardo. He's got Ricardo. So he's got the two cars he really needed to do. Sites is spun on the opening lap of the safety car. And now Mick Schumacher's all over the back of the Williams. He's up in a P12. He's on absolute fire. Schumacher wants these points regardless of the crash. There's no way he's going to get up to the point. Surely not. This is an absolute unbelievable. Um, redemption driver from Mick. Magnussen up into P5. He'll push him. Uh, Sergio Perez all the way. And we're actually going to have to relax on him just a little bit. But look how much speed and grip that Mick Schumacher has on Pierre Gassi up ahead. He's going to go for a move, I reckon, around the outside. Go for it. See if you can get it done. Oh, he can't quite get it done just yet. But he's got so much grip on these soft tyres. He's basically pushing these cars up ahead through these corners to try and get a move done down the straight. Can we get him to get this Alpha Tauri as Kevin Magnus is all over the back of the Red Bull, but there's no DRS just yet. So we're gonna have to wait another lap for it, but we've got overtake on, we've put him on full attack. Can he get the Alpha Tauri down into the braking zone? Go for the move, Mick. No, he doesn't fancy it just yet. So Mick Schumacher waiting a little bit patiently um, to try and get that car back into the points. Kevin Magnussen, on the other hand, he is pushing this Red Bull, who is out of DRS range. If he can get past him on this lap DRS when DRS enabled. is enabled, um, we could see a potential push for a podium position as Mick Schumacher is all over the back. So we're going to tell him, get going, mate. Try and get those moves done now. Same with Kevin Magnussen. We've got overtake on. We've got DRS. The Red Bull up ahead doesn't. Kevin Magnussen, he's going to go for a move down the inside of the Red Bull. He's got the move done. Just about up into P4 he goes. We can push on. Oh, no, he doesn't. The Red Bulls fought it really well. They're going side by side still. Mick Schumacher still down in P12. Look at this side by side action that you're seeing right here. The Red Bull stays ahead for now. Come on, Kevin Magnussen. You can get the move done. Here's another chance with DRS. Can he get it done now? Yes, he can. Can he close in on Hamilton up ahead to get Hamilton's DRS and potentially get another podium for Haas this season? He is within DRS of the Mercedes. Mick Schumacher cannot get past these two cars to get that final points position from Pierre Gasly. So it's all kicking off in the final few laps. We've got four laps to go. He's in DRS rage. We're going to save the tyres for a little bit for now. We're just going to close in. As long as Perez doesn't go for a move, we should be okay. But Sergio Perez is thinking about a move down the inside. I don't think he went for it. No, so we're all right for now. But we are in the back of the Mercedes. We're on for another podium finish. Mick Schumacher just can't seem to get the move done. So he's basically letting himself down right now. He's on the faster, soft tyres. He's going to go for a move now. Go on, Mick. There's the move. There's what you needed to do. Break that DRS. And now you're behind Pierre Gasly. He's up in a P10. Someone's had an incident. It's been Lando Norris. So now Mick Schumacher's in the points. And he's fighting for P9 to get two points for, from Pierre Gasly. He goes around the outside. That's not a common place to go for a move around the outside there. It's a little bit risky, but he gets the move done. Up into P9, Mick Schumacher is going to score some points. Magnussen got ahead of Lewis Hamilton. And now we've got three more laps to hold onto a podium and a P9 position. This is something we didn't expect when Mick Schumacher went flying into the back of, uh, I think it was the Aston Martin, or it was the Alfa Romeo, wasn't it, of Valtteri Bottas. So he's basically said, if I can't overtake him, I'm going to crash him out. And he is on a charge up into P9, dropping down to P10. He's switching with Pierre Gasly. It's going to come down to the final lap of the Grand Prix as Magnussen is out of ERS. And he's got Lewis Hamilton all over the back of him. So he's going to have to really, really go for it on the last couple laps. I think the, the Mercedes out. is going to fly past Shut him down up. this straight. 
and we're gonna have to basically be a bit more patient but the the red bull might also make the overtake as well not just yet oh has he got the move done come on k mag this is important that you hold this one. Oh, he's lost out yeah oh, he's lost out two positions come on k mag come on fight it see if you can get back at the mercedes oh he's at a he's at a back off so it's going to come down to the final lap of the grand prix but Kevin Magnussen is out of ERS. He, he's dropped way, way behind. And it's going to be a little bit of a struggle as um, Mick Schumacher now having to defend against Pierre Gasly. But this is the focus that we're on. The two cars up ahead fighting for the final podium position. Can we hold on from the cars behind? Uh, or can we hold on? From the cars behind with Mick Schumacher, but can we push on to catch the two cars in front as the Red Bull is going to attack the Mercedes now? Starting we're going to try and get involved. We've got no ERS at all, but we're going to try and get involved okay, with the two cars. Sure. Look how close we are. This is going to be a battle right to the very end. Mick Schumacher, we're going to tell him to defend against Pierre Gasly, but our main focus is on Kevin Magnussen. Can he make the move on the Red Bull and the Mercedes on the final lap of the Grand Prix? It will take something very, very special, but he is setting himself up for it. He's somehow regained 43% ERS so we've got ERS back in the locker he thinks about a move down here but it's down the straight is the best chance let's see what have you got the Red Bull's gonna go for it on the Mercedes can we close on in and maybe make a move ourselves they're going side by side can we go around the outside of the Mercedes no we cannot oh we've bottled it we tried our very best but to be fighting with Red Bull and Mercedes in this race I think basically shows how good of a driver Kevin Magnussen is as we round the final few corners, Perez nips Lewis Hamilton to that final podium position. And Kevin Magnussen, he's going to get fastest lap unless someone takes it off him on this final lap. No, I think he took fastest lap. So Kevin Magnussen comes home in P5. Uh, and Mick Schumacher, after that crash, has somehow got back into the points and taken P9. So... Okay, checkered flag. There we go. What a result flag. that is. P5 and P9 for Haas. We've got a really good car still, yeah, even though that we're not upgrading great. it this year. But, I mean, quite a few people getting a DNF. The problems we had with Kevin Magnussen in the race where we couldn't actually change anything, so he's conserving his tyres for super, super long. Um, maybe if that didn't happen, he could have been a couple places higher on the safety car restart. But, regardless, he takes fastest lap of the Grand Prix. Mick, Sch Mick Schumacher takes P9 and gets into the points. And you can see here, Sainz and Verstappen. Verstappen has somehow got himself back in this championship hunt. So this is going to be very interesting. Verstappen, Leclerc and Sainz. Three-way battle for the championship. Uh, Verstappen was like 50, 60 points behind at one point. But he's got himself seven wins this year. And uh, Charles Leclerc only has three. But there's only a one-point difference between the two. Anyway, Kevin Magnussen, he's taken over 145 points this season. Schumacher only 36. So you can understand why we want to get rid of Mick Schumacher. Constructors, though, uh, 181 points, and um, we've got a lot of points. I think the goal is get 200 points this season, and that'll be an unbelievable year for us. What's Mick Schumacher? Any Mick Schumacher development point. I don't know why we're celebrating. We don't really care, to be honest. Um, we did forget to put Jack Doohan in the practice session. We did say we were going to do that. Anyway, if you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you go ahead, leave a like, um in car parts uh oh uh oh we might have to get some of those there's um oh there's schumacher he's slamming into the chassis all right we'll figure that one out next um next episode we're in mexico i think we might be taking a, a grid penalty with kevin magnuson but regardless uh we're having a strong strong end to the season if you are enjoying the episode make sure you go or enjoying the series make sure you go leave a like subscribe and um i'll see you guys next time Yeah! <laughs>